the joint distribution of two random variables x and y is as follows these are x values these are y values okay minus 4 2 7 1 5 and these are a 1 1 j 1 1 j 1 2 j 1 3 j 2 1 j 2 2 j 2 3 okay 1 by 8 1 by 4 1 by 8 1 by 4 1 by 8 1 by 8 correct compute the following first one expectation of x and expectation of y second one b ex expectation of x y c standard deviation of x standard deviation of y d is a covariance of x y and e is a correlation of x y okay now now the distribution is obtained by adding the all the respect to rows entries and also the respect to column entries now take distribution of x this is row wise and this is x i this x i is 1 and 5 1 and 5 and adding row wise x values okay this row wise these values that is f of x i now add it 1 by 8 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 is it's a 1 by 2 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8 this is 5 is a 1 by 2 again 1 by 2 okay now distribution of y distribution of y is a y is a minus 4 this is y j and g of y j minus 4 2 7 now add column wise first column first column is added 1 by 8 plus 1 by 4 is a 3 by 8 second column again 3 by 8 now third column is a 1 by 4 this is also called marginal distribution okay now go to the first one the first one is expectation of x okay now expectation of x formula is summation x i into f of x i now x i take i equal to 1 to m put i equal to 1 means 1 into 1 by 2 1 into 1 by 2 plus 2 into uh, sorry uh, 5 into 5, 1 by 2 5 into 1 by 2 x2 and f of x2 and this is equal to 3 next is expectation of y okay expectation of y is this one y1 g of y1 y2 g of y2 y3 g of y3 now expect uh, summation of yj into g of yj okay now first one is minus 4 into 3 by 8 plus 2 into 3 by 8 plus 7 into 1 by 4 and this is equal to now multiply and add it we get 1 okay now expectation of x expectation of x also called mu x this is 3 and expectation of y or mu y is equal to 1 okay next b b is a expectation of x y expectation of x y means summation x i y j and j i j take i equal to 1 j equal to 1 x1 y1 j11 take i is equal to j equal to x2 y2 j22 like this okay and this is equal to take i is equal to 1 and j equal to 1 i is a 1 is 1 j j 1 is a minus 4 and this is a j11 j12 j13 okay j21 j22 j23 take these values take i and j equal to 1 is a 1 into this is 1 and minus 4 this is a like this 1 1 j 1 1 1 2 j 1 2 1 3 j 1 3 this is 2 1 2 2 2 3 like this x value this is y values and x values j 2 2 j 2 1 j 2 2 j 2 3 like this take i and j equal to 1 1 into minus 4 into 1 by 8 plus take i is equal to 1 and j is equal to 2 1 into 2 into 1 by 4 is continue plus take i is equal to 1 and j is equal to 3 1 into 7 into 1 by 8 plus i equal to 2 and j is equal to 1 next this one okay 
now i equal to 2 j is equal to 1 now it is a 5 into minus 4 into 1 by 4 i equal to 2 and j is equal to 2 5 into 2 into 1 by 8 now i is equal to 2 j is equal to 3 5 into 7 into 1 by 8 and multiply and add it the expectation of xy is equal to minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 second term third term is plus 7 by 8 next fourth term is minus 5 plus 5 by 4 plus 5 by 4 plus 35 by 8 and this is equal to 3 by 2 and expectation of x y is equal to 3 by 2 now third c is a find the standard deviation of x and standard deviation of y okay first you find variance of x variance of x means this is formula expectation of x square minus mu x whole square okay first to find the variance of x now find these values expectation of x square okay now expectation of x square formula is a uh, formula is summation x i whole square into f of x i only x values are whole square and f of x is as it is take i is equal to 1 2 3 okay take i is equal to 1 i is equal to this is i1 x1 x2 this is f of x1 this is f of x2 okay x1 square x square 1 square is 1 only into f of x1 is a 1 by 2 plus x2 square x2 square is x2 is a 5 x2 square is a 25 25 into f of x2 is a 1 by 2 and this is equal to add multiply and add it 13 okay now uh, variance of x is expectation of x square is 13 sorry this is 13 minus mu and expectation of x mu mu of x means this one 3 okay this is 3 so minus 3 whole square and this is equal to answer is uh, 4 then find standard deviation of x standard deviation of x is square root of variance like this standard deviation is 2 ok next go to the standard deviation of y first to find variance, variance of y now variance of y is a like this variance of y is a expectation of y square minus mu y whole square ok first to find expectation of y square now you know the formula summation y j whole square into f of sorry g of y j take this y values y1 f of g of y1 y2 g of y2 y3 g of y3 ok and this is equal to y1 square y1 square is a 16 into g of y1 is a 3 by 8 and y2 square plus y2 square is a 4 into 3 by 8 plus y3 square is a 49 into g of y3 is a 1 by 4 and this is multiply and add it you get 79 by 4 now variance of y square is equal to expectation of y square is a 9 17 by 4 minus mu y whole square mu y means expectation of y is a 1 that is minus 1 square is 1 and this is equal to variance of y is equal to um, 4 8 and this one is a 75 by 4 now standard deviation of y is equal to square root of 75 by by 4 75 by 4 and this is equal to 4.33 okay next is fourth one covariance of xy 
this is the formula is a covariance of x y is a expectation of x y minus mu x into mu y expectation of x y is value is this one is 3 by 2 okay and mu x 3 and mu y is a 1 expectation of x y is a 3 by 2 minus mu x is a 3 and mu y is a 1 and this is equal to minus 3 by 2 okay next is correlation of x y this is rho x y is equal to formula is a covariance of x y divided by standard deviation of x standard deviation of y now you know the formula this is minus 3 by 2 standard deviation of x is is a 2 only and standard deviation of y is a is uh, 4.33 and this is equal to um, using calculator minus 0 0.1732 this is a co uh, relation of x y now this is required solution